everyone, I hope y'all are having a great day, and today I'll be reviewing To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. So I've been super pumped for this book ever since I heard of it because I love Jenny Han, and I love this title, and I love the cover, and I love the premise, and I was just 50 shades of super freaking excited for this book, and it didn't really disappoint. There's a lot to love about To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and it doesn't come without its flaws, but I still really, really enjoyed reading it. I read it in one night, in a few hours, I think. So yeah, it definitely flies by, and it's a lot of fun. For those who don't know, To All the Boys I've Loved Before is about a 16-year-old girl named Lara Jean Song, who likes to write love letters to all the boys that she's loved, and she seals them up, addresses them, and instead of sending them out, she keeps them tucked away in a hat box, never to be read by anyone other than herself. And she writes these letters as a way of letting out all of her emotions and getting them out of her system so that after she's done with the letter, she moves on. And then one day she finds out that all of her letters have been mailed out to their respective recipients and things get a little crazy. She has to deal with the consequences as well as discover her true feelings about each of these boys that she's loved and also come to terms with herself. At a glance this book does seem like just pure fluff but it does delve into some more emotional territory like familial bonds and self-discovery. Lara Jean is the middle song sister. She has an older sister named Margo who has kind of taken on the mother role since their own mother died, even though Margot's only two years older than Lara Jean. And then there's the youngest sister, who is Kitty, and she's only nine years old. And I thought the sister dynamic between these three girls was really, really well done. Especially the tension between Margot and Lara Jean near the end of the book, as well as the constant battle between playfulness and cattiness that Lara Jean and Kitty are involved in. Something that I really, really enjoyed about To All the Boys I've Loved Before is that the song girls are half Korean, and I love reading about diversity in YA because I don't think we have enough of it. And so having a main character that's half Korean was just really, really great for me because Jenny Han, yeah. Hashtag representation. The writing style did take me some time to adjust to because it's kind of detached, a little distant, if not a bit boring. Lara Jean is a really, really strange character at first. She's really innocent and naive and kind of offbeat. The way she spoke made her seem a lot younger than she really was, because she is my age, and there's just a certain quirkiness to her that makes me feel like I would never meet a girl like her at my school. While Lara Jean is a really developed character by the end of the book, as are her sisters and the main love interest, I felt like the secondary characters were really, really flat. I was especially really disappointed in the mean girl, and her name is Genevieve, and she seriously has little to no substance and absolutely no motive except just to be greedy and mean. I thought the plot was really enjoyable. It provides a lot of angsty moments that I just ate up because I love angst. Though at times I will admit that the plot almost seemed a bit too forced, kind of contrived. Something that really, really bothered me was that Lara Jean didn't even try to find out who sent out her letters. She kind of just accepted the fact and just moved on, decided not to care. And maybe that's just a part of her character, but if it were me, I would be freaking out and investigating like crazy to find out who could possibly have been so invasive to send out my love letters. Like, that is a terrible thing to do, and she seemed to just not care. I mean, admittedly, I thought it was glaringly obvious who sent out Lara Jean's letters, but how could you not even try to find out who did it? When we found out who it was, in the end, I already guessed it and I was kind of rolling my eyes because it was predictable. The plot is definitely a blend of a lot of different cliches, like the quiet girl gets the popular boy and the popular boy who comes off as a douche isn't really that bad of a person, etc. So it wasn't necessarily bad because I did enjoy this book a lot. It is just a bit typical. I thought the ending of this book was really, really unsatisfying. Not Eleanor and Park unsatisfying, but it just didn't seem like the most appropriate place to end the story. There were still some strings, you know, that were left hanging, not tied up yet. And so 
I would I wanted more. The ending was just too abrupt for me. Okay, so that's it for the non-spoilery section. I'm going to go into a very, very short spoiler section because there's not much to say that I haven't already said, but there are a couple of points that I want to bring up. So if you haven't read To All the Boys I've Loved Before, I advise you to leave now, or if I can figure out how to do that annotation thing that makes you skip ahead, then you can click on that and skip ahead. Okay, so if you haven't read the book, I hope you're gone. Are you gone? Spoiling in three, two, one. Okay, Kitty sending out the letters I thought was really, really predictable, and I thought the reasoning behind it was so weak. Like, that is seriously the weakest motive. She's kind of like, yeah, I sent them out because I was mad at you. Like, really? Oh, okay. Oh, well, whatever. What I want to talk about, or who I want to talk about, especially, is Peter, our love interest. Sure, he's not that bad of a guy, he's not as bad as we thought he was, but I still didn't think he was a great person. He still sometimes says really mean things, and the way that he tells Laura Jean he likes her is probably one of the most unromantic moments in this whole book. Like, they get into a fight about Genevieve, and she's like, how can you possibly like me when you're still in love with her? And he's like, what I have with Genevieve has nothing to do with you and me, which is obviously completely untrue, considering their situation wouldn't have ever occurred if it weren't for Genevieve. And are we just going to ignore the fact that Lara Jean found out, like, twice in this book, that during their during their fake courtship, Peter was caught with Genevieve or sneaking out of her house or whatever, like, that happened, and it was never properly addressed. Also, at the end of his confession, he kind of says, so, what do you say? And he has, like, that arrogant smirk, and Laura Jean is like, he's just expecting me to say yes. So he expects her to say yes, and that's, that's not charming. That's not charming at all. It frustrated me because just because someone isn't as bad as you initially think they are doesn't mean that they are necessarily genuinely good. Like, I just thought that Peter wasn't very good boyfriend material for Lara Jean. But anyway, moving on. Let's talk about Josh for a couple of seconds. He was like barely there in most of the novel. He just popped up occasionally, so it was pretty obvious that he wasn't the one for Lara Jean. Ooh, ooh, also, okay, when Lara Jean's dad gives her that gift card to the antique shop and is like, I wanted to get you that necklace that you liked, but it was gone. Was no one else expecting Peter to have purchased it for her? Like, that's I was expecting. I was waiting for it, and it didn't happen, so that was a little bit disappointing. Overall, To All the Boys I've Loved Before is a really, really lovely, wonderful read. It's super sweet and enjoyable. Admittedly, it did get me a little emotional at times. I cried a little bit. Jenny Han's stories are always really, really great, and I recommend them to anybody who likes contemporary novels. This book isn't without its flaws, and I don't know if I can say it's my favorite Jenny Han book, but I still really, really enjoyed it. So if you've read To All the Boys I've Loved Before, definitely leave me a comment telling me what you thought, because I would love to know. And if you haven't read it, I would recommend it if it sounds interesting to you. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and happy reading! Bye!